get a, this is a real-time recording of getting Jennifer, the BFA Battle Pet. So the idea of this video is that you do the steps as I'm doing the steps, we do it simultaneously. If you don't want a blow-by-blow -blow description, there is a TLDR version of this video in the description below. So if you want that one, check it out. Let's get started. So from uh, the Alliance perspective, we are going to be beginning in Stormwind. And I'm going to use the portal to Mount Hyjal because we want to go to Ashenvale, which is just pretty close. It's a stone's throw from Mount Hyjal. So I find that portal is a pretty easy one to take. I'm doing this on a boosted character. It's uh, about 410, 420 eye level or something. So you don't need a massive tune for this. We will be clearing Karazhan at one point, the Legion Mythic version. I'm listening. So the flight path I'm going to catch is the uh, Astronar in Ashenvale. We want to go as far west as possible. And there's going to be a little building in there. And next to the building, we're going to be finding uh, an NPC. And that NPC is Amara Luna Star, which is a rather pretty name. And when we find her, we're going to uh, talk to her. There's a dialogue. And then once we do that, we will be going to Stormwind again so that we can go to Elwyn Forest. There's a question of whether Elwyn Forest is a necessary step. It seems like you can skip it, but I do it as well. It's nice. It's a bit of a story. I kind of like these mystery puzzle type journeys. It takes you from place to place. So I, I'm not too keen on skipping stuff, but if you want to, um, after... Amara Lunastar in Ashenvale, you can go straight to Karazhan, as far as we know. In the future, I don't know if that's going to change, so if you don't want to accidentally break anything, <laughs> you might want to take the uh, Elwyn Forest stop as well. I don't know if you're going to hear any of my cats, which are in the background. I have real life cats, probably very jealous of me talking about a virtual cat. But this journey took us approximately five minutes, I think. So maybe another four to go from this point. So we would like to remind you that we will be landing in Ashenvale this evening in about four minutes time. The local time will be 5.08 p.m. on landing and the weather should be pretty balmy. Nice, comfortable 29 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Farmer Jingles. Sorry. We hope that you've enjoyed our flight and delicious airline food, which none of us remember because it's 2020 and who can fly anywhere? 2020. Speaking of 2020, how have you been? as we sit here in real time, not speeding up. I really want to speed this up, <laughs> but we're not going to. It's real time recording. You do what I do at the same time. So I'm just going to yammer away in your ear while we're flying along. Hope you're doing good. As I said in this crazy 2020 that is I'm going to look back on this year future us are going to go wow that was a thing I'm hyped for Shadowlands I hope you are it's going to be good can't say that BFA was my favourite expansion I kind of did Bail halfway through. Hence, I don't have a 480 eye level tune to be doing this on. Uh, fair warning, I have actually already got Jennifer. You might actually see her on my action bar at the bottom of the screen. Third button, top row from the left. Uh, so I did that on my druid because it was fitting to get a cat on a cat. She is feral at the moment. Feral spec. She's probably also feral. Never trust a druid these days. 
but yeah, so we'll, we can still do all of the steps, uh, but at the very end, you just won't see the achievement pop up. But you do see Jennifer appear. Yeah, I'm hyped for Shadowlands. Whoa, it's going to be good. I was hoping... I stopped playing BFA for a while because I started farming the Cosmic Wings in Diablo 3, which I still do not have. Um, a hundred plus rainbow portals later. For those who don't know, it's essentially like you know, mount farming in WoW, Invincible or something like that, but if you imagine that first you have to find a magical portal to get into ICC, and then when you get into ICC, sometimes the Lich King isn't there, so there's a chance that he might not even be there. But when he is there, you found the portal to ICC, the magically spawning portal, and then you found the Lich King. Then you get the wings. Ah, uh, sorry, the mount. That's basically what cosmic wings are. But here we are in Ashenvale. Landed safely. Three point landing. We're going to go due west, pretty much. My little tom tom point, a little bit low. So basically, if you just fly due west, there's a bit of a path. If you want to, if you're not, uh, if you don't have flying and you want to run it, just follow the path and keep going west, as the song says. And there will be a little, little house, and next to the house there'll be a bird bath kind of monument. You can just see it in the distance here. Uh, on the right hand side we've got that little fountain font birdbath type thing and behind the birdbath is Amara Luna Star, and she's the lady that we want to talk to. So this will start the journey to get Jennifer. If you don't do this then you can't do the rest of it. So we're going to talk to her and there'll be a dialogue option. Goddess, bless I will you. keep an eye out for it. If you just click on that, and we're now ready Goddess, watch over for you. step two. So step two, you've got two options. You can do the next step, or you can skip the next step. I chose to do it because in the future I don't know whether it's going to be something that can be skipped, or skipping it breaks, or something like that. But we are going to go back to Stormwind. So if you have a hearth somewhere, my hearth is in Boralus, so I'm just going to take the, the portal from Boralus to Stormwind. But however you get there, via portal, via cloak, <laughs> via guild, was it guild cloak or something like that? You can, whichever, it's a couple of cloaks where you can Stormwind port. And then we're going to fly from Stormwind, directly out the gates, and pretty much due east from the gates, not very far. Like just outside the gates, there's a little building. And in that building, we're going to find Donny and Thania, the crazy cat lady. And in her little room, there's a kibble bowl, or a food bowl, that we're going to click. And once we've done that, then we're going to head off to Karazhan. We are going to do Karazhan, the return to Karazhan version. So you will need to have your dungeon set to Mythic difficulty. Otherwise you'll get the wrong version of Karazhan. We need the Legion version. So we're just going to fly just outside Stormwind here. And as I said, it's pretty much due east from the gates of Stormwind. Not too far. I think we've got some Brewfest people coming up here. Depending on when you do this, you might not have Brewfest. But basically where that little shield is on my map here. I've got an add-on that's kind of blocking. But that's basically where we're going. I'll just put my little marker in front so going in the general right direction. As I said, this is some Brewfest going on there. And just up here we've got the blue roof. This is the building we're going to be going into. And just inside here we have Donnie 
and Thania, we don't need to talk to her, but there's some battle pits she sells if you want to. Avail yourself of another collection. She's got some cats in here. The crazy cat lady. And just on the right, just next to the cupboard, the wardrobe type thing, to the left of the door, you have the empty dish. So if you click on that, you'll get the pop-up. And now from here, we're going to go straight to Karazin. So one of the clues that help people to figure out where to go to Karazin were these two little bits of food that are on the ground, these pebbles of food, which apparently when you line them up on the world map, they point in the direction of Karazin. So who found that out? I don't know. They're a very intelligent person, I will say. But however you want to go to Karazin from here, I actually fly. Um, I don't find it too too much of a, a bother just to manually fly myself. I don't have uh, the fastest flying, so you might actually get ahead of me if you've got top flight speed on your mount. I haven't bought it on this character. So if you get there before me, just go straight into Karazin. And we want to go into the side entrance, so not the raid entrance, which is at the front. Uh, if you're not sure where the side entrance is to Karazin, you might want to wait for me to catch up or just skip the video ahead. The advantage to waiting for me is that I get to whisper sweet nothings into your ear, and I mean nothings. Because this is purely just nattering away. I've done a few of these kind of puzzles. I've always done them after they've been discovered because I, I don't have the patience to try and discover it myself. But I love seeing at the end how people figured out all these steps. Like who thought, oh, look at these two little bits of food that we can't interact with. But they point toward cars and like, who, who thinks that way? I want to meet them and shake their hand. I did enjoy the lucid nightmare one. That was pretty good. Having the caves behind waterfalls and then a randomly generated puzzle. That was a lot of fun. This one's much simpler. It's pretty straightforward once you know what to do. We do have, as I said, the side entrance to Karazin, but just before I go in here, I do change my dungeon difficulty to Mythic because I had it uh, not set on previously. So just check before you head in. I've got the right one. And we're going to uh, clear some of the places. Depending on your eye level, if you've got a pretty high eye level, you might just want to kill them as you go. I, I kill most of them, and then some of it I, I kill a little bit later. But we're going to be clearing first down to Morose. And then from Morose we want to clear that room and the hallways toward Maiden. I do a skip to Morose, so I do jump over a, a balcony, if you're familiar with that old skip. So uh, there's some mobs on the way back that I haven't cleared, but essentially it works out alright. But you do want to clear it, uh, as I said, Morose, then on the way to Maiden. You don't need to clear Maiden, but depending on your level, you might need to clear more or less. And there's a, a room... I think it wise to divide our effort. Do you now? I'll work to circumvent the tower's magical defenses. Okay. You may need to take a more blunt force. Approach. Blunt force, you say? I'm ready. With my hammers of doom. So just before Maiden, there's a, a little room on the left that we do need to use. Through here, what we're going to be doing is picking up some pieces of food and specific types of food that are only visible to us because we talk to Amara. So if you don't talk to Amara, you can't see any of the food. So once you head on, we can see the opera event ahead of us. We're going to go right and go down the ramp. Said to we're going to do the opera event first. We'll clear that. Then we'll make our way to Morose. And then from Morose we'll make our way to Maiden. This is the kind of food that we're going to be picking up. You don't actually need to go this way. Just go straight to the opera event. Um, 
But these items that are on the ground, some of this food you don't need, so we don't need the uh, it ghostly ale, you don't need that kind. So at 120 you can avoid killing some of these, just to, I don't know, flex your muscles. The uh, stage down there, so the audience platform, that's where we're going to be dropping food in a specific configuration. And when you have them in the right places, then Jennifer will appear. But we're going to do that part last. Uh, just on the left there, to the left of the Welcome, purple crystal. Ladies and gentlemen, to our up! Shut your jabber, drama man. The Monkey King got another plan. Tonight, we got a horkin show. An ookin tale you think you know. That evil crone, she's not the worst. Another witch was nasty at first. Mean Duker locked up all us hosen. Another path she should have chosen. So sit and slur, relax a gibbet. Enjoy the show that we call Wicked. Okay, we'll just let this happen before I keep talking. Elvira, come down from there. You're fluttering about like one of those horrible monkey creatures. We all deserve a chance to fly. Hey, do you really think the wizard will degreenify me? <laughs> of course, dear. Though that old frock of yours. Oh, look, some new friends have come to pay us a visit. I don't have any friends. Well... Apart from you, Galindra. If you're my friend, you'll make the Hosen get rid of these interlopers. Then we're off to see the wizard! Together, we're unlimited! Follow my lead and you'll be popular! All right, I have, it's not a DC, uh, my game hangs here for a little while. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly take this opportunity to let you know that when we start picking up the food, you will have five minutes from the first item that you pick up to collect all of the items and to place them quickly. So this is why we want to clear everything first, uh, because if you have to kill things and it takes you longer than five minutes, <laughs> uh, then the food will disappear. So we're now going to clear, as I said, down to Morose. I'm going to take the little bit of a shortcut where I jump over the balcony. But... You do you, wherever you normally go for Morose. If you haven't done Return to Karazin before, it's a good dungeon. Gonna be going up the ramp here. So there's a few things I have to kill because I just don't do a lot of DPS. Sitting on an alt. Uh, we're going to clear the audience section here because this is where we're going to be placing the food at the end. So do make sure that you clear this area. So now we're going to head toward Morose, and I'm basically just going to clear everything. Uh, this area here, just to give you a bit of a lay of the land, we've got these squares. As you can see, the tiled floor, and the tiles represent notes on a musical staff. So you're going to be placing the food 
in as if they're notes, basically. So I'm just going to clear this room here. Uh, Morose, I'm going to use the, the skip on the right hand side. I don't really need to clear all of this, but... There's no time limit at the moment, so... This is the hallway behind us toward Maidens, so we need to clear this area. And we want to clear the last room on the left before you go to Maiden. This is you going through here on the left and right. We've got some bookshelves and some lion statues. Uh, we're going to be picking up some food from these locations as we go through. And there's two pieces of food in this end room on the left. Which I'll show you in a second. Don't you love it when archers can shoot through rock? Stone supports. Okay, so here on the stool, uh, there's one piece of meat. There's a juicy drumstick. This is one of the pieces that we're going to pick up. And behind the chair on the left-hand side is another piece. I'm not actually picking them up. I'm just hovering over them so you can see the name. Uh, to the right... There's one piece next to the first lion statue. I don't show it here, but we will come back and pick that up. And there's another piece of meat just in the cobwebs on the little stool. We're going to pick those ones up last, and then we'll head straight to Opera. But before we do that, we're going to clear Moreau's room now. So I'm just going to jump over the balcony. And we definitely want to clear the, the tables for quite some time. as there's some food Perhaps on the tables and next to the tables. Probably not necessary to clear the bosses, I'll but you may as well. Transmog, yo! Stop troubling the master's guests! Don't stand in the bad hist. May I take your jacket? I will just need a moment. So there's a bit of a cutscene, or whether you get the cutscene as well. And enough of this weakness, boy! Contain your magic. I'm just going to show you where the food is, and then we'll start so picking it up. So this first fishy Father. bite, fishy bit, sorry, we're going to be picking that one up. Father, no! On the, the carpet, there's another piece. On the big table, there's one more piece. Uh, slathered ribs. So I'm going to start picking them up now. But before I do that, I actually want to put them in my inventory near the top and in the correct order. So I'm going to move them around at one point. On the screen, I'm going to show you what order I want them to be in. Just makes it easier when I'm placing them. I don't have to think. And I can rearrange them while I'm running. So we picked up those three pieces. I'm now going to clear the next room. So you, you might have already cleared this room yourself if you didn't do the uh, balcony skip. We are on the timer at this point. So we have five minutes now before the first piece of food that we picked up disappears. Going to head back up the stairs toward Maiden. On the purple carpet before we get there, before we go to Maiden, just on the left hand side there's another piece of meat that we're going to pick up. And then we're going to go through to Maiden. So there'll be a piece on the right hand side, that bookshelf that's covered in cobwebs. There's a little stool next to the first one. 
little table kind of thing, pedestal. We're going to take the meaty, mor meaty morsel from there. Into the room at the end on the left-hand side, before Maiden. On the left, next to the red carpet, there's a food behind the chair in the corner. And then in the purple carpet to the right, there's a stool, piece of meat on there. We're going to pick that up. We're going to kill the stragglers. And now we're going to go to the two lion statues. And just before the first lion statue, on the corner there, there's a piece of meat on the ground, a fishy bit. We're going to pick that up. And now we have all of our pieces. So I have eight total pieces. I'm going to rearrange them now in the order that I'm going to place them on the floor. So we've got the drumstick looking one first. I'm heading back to the opera event. This goes straight through to where we're going to place these. We want the dark red meat and then the fish bit and then the lighter rounder piece of steak followed by the stark, dark piece of steak again. The ribs, the drumstick and then the fish. So this is the order we want. We're now going to go to the first row of pews and we're going to place our first one here. So basically you're going to go one right, one up. Place the second piece. One right, one up. Third piece. One right, one up. Fourth piece. One right, one up. Fifth piece. Three up. One right. Sixth piece. One right, one up, seventh piece, one right, one back, last piece. Should get some music playing now. Go back to where we place our first pieces. Have a look in the pews there and you should see Jennifer walking around. And then give her a pat and she's yours. Congratulations. Give her a few clicks. You know those left click dialogue options see what she sounds like but there you go there is jennifer blow by blow and happy hunting <laughs>